Hey, show me from overdrive and that, yes, is the new Triumph Street Bobber. Um, that's where the logo is. Yeah. So, let me give you a quick update on the motorcycle. So, that is the 1200 engine, uh, just as it appears in the T120, but in a different state of tune. Uh, part of the state of tune uh, is actually the fact that where the logo is where I showed you, it's a split airbox. So, this is one side of it, and on the other side, there is the other uh, airbox. And while we are here, I'll just show you that's how the, um, uh, the suspension is mounted, and I'll come back to that. So, between that and the short headers, the motorcycle is tuned to produce a lot more torque and power at the low revs, but uh, overall power will probably be lower than the uh, T120. Triumph is currently, as usual, pay, playing very coy with the specs. I don't know what the wheelbase is, I don't know what the power spec is, I just know what it's supposed to feel like, and they tell me it feels excellent. But uh, they're the manufacturer, of course, the thing <laughs> it feels excellent. Uh, more to the point, it's a very simple uh, looking motorcycle, so the tank is a derivative of the current uh, Bonneville tanks, very nicely made I have to say. There's a custom on the other side, over there in the back and I'm going to go across and show that to you. Uh, the front uh, spoke wheels look absolutely right for this. They're using this strange Cobra tyre uh, made by Avon I think, uh, here this is a 100 and 190 at the front. Uh, match to a 17 inch rear tyre. Uh, I think it goes with the look really well. I really like the, the single seater unit. Uh, the seat itself is on a rail and uh, basically if you look at how the lady is sitting right now, the seat will move up. There is a rail that you can move up to adjust the seat height a little bit and just as you do that you can also adjust the angle of the speedometer unit so it comes down and up so you can change the look of the motorcycle a little bit. This is built into the motorcycle because as a bobber the visuals of this motorcycle are a very very important part of what it feels like and looks like to ride. So that's the bobber, it will come to India. I'm going to go to the other side so you can see the other side of the motorcycle. Uh, and uh, then I'll walk across to the custom there, which uh, Triumph has shown here at ICMA, and I'll show you the details on that. So that's what it looks like. So that's the throttle body, that's one half of the airbox, and that's why it's going to be hard to retrofit onto the T120 because uh, the split airbox is going to be hard to manage. So I was talking about the rear suspension, that's how it is. And because it's mounted in a new place, the swing arm, as they call it, the swinging cage, is a new idea. So it looks like an old hardtail with a hidden suspension unit. That is the Triumph uh, bobber. That's the custom that they've shown here. You can see the drop bars, the custom paint. And there, there's a little NOS scan. What they're saying is it's a prototype right now, so the NOS scan doesn't work. But the intention is to make it work. Now you'll have to stay with me while I go across to the other side of the stage where there are a few more custom bikes that I'd like to show you. So here we are. This is the high barred bobber, which I really like the way it look of. So quickly, the homologated version in the United States uh, and a couple other markets. No tail light here, it's integrated into this. There's a little number plate here that folds in. Let me just refocus because it's dark here. So yeah, so you can make this fold in and out. Uh, you just, you know, if it hits the traffic, nobody's going to get. Slash cut Vance and Hines, this can turn, so you can have it, the slash cut pointing down, up, inward or outward, as you like it. Uh, and the high bars. And in front here, sorry, uh, is uh, the other one. This is more like a drag bike, so uh, lower bars, as you can see. Uh, and uh, I just go closer, that's what it looks like. So that's the Triumph bobber. It's definitely coming to India. We don't know the timelines yet. We don't know the prices yet. But we believe that the test rides are going to happen in December. It will go on sale in certain markets by January, February. Uh, India, we will find out.